Welcome everyone, Nick here for tonight's Spy Rights quiz. Phil Tooley once again setting the questions and as it's quiz number 13, Phil has elected to base the questions around some times that we'd perhaps rather forget as Spy Rights fans. Could relate to disappointing results, poor seasons, that type of thing. And as always, it's multiple choice against the clock. You'll see the points go down as the clock ticks down. Generally 40 seconds. Got a couple of questions that a little over that to give you a bit more time. Video questions. So the quicker you answer, the more points you stand to gain. Don't forget that your first answer is final. So you can press your virtual keypad as many times as you want. But you can't change your answer. So if you just joined us, if you go on to buzzerpad.com, you'll see the pin code in the centre of the screen there, 62634. And then tap the screen. Tap your keypad screen once you've put in that pin code. Always point out now that uh, if you've played before, don't use the previous pin code because they are unique to each quiz. So if you're using an old pin code, unfortunately, it won't work. So do make sure you put in that new pin code, 62634. But as usual, we'll be looking after the things on YouTube, on the comment section. And we have regulars going on there. And joining in with the comments, so... When I get a chance, I do take a look at what's being said. So do join, join in with the conversation if you can on YouTube. Do get asked from time to time to uh, give a shout out to certain people. Unfortunately, can't always guarantee that if a mid quiz, it's difficult for me to keep an eye on uh, what's happening on there. Not being ignorant, it's just uh, how the quiz flows, but I will uh, take a look from time to time. And as uh, Phil says there, the hot weather and the football on TV, that's a challenge tonight. So, uh, yep, I'll repeat that. Thanks very much uh, to everyone who is joining us. And also a reminder from, Qu uh, from uh, Phil about next week's quiz. That's 14, number 14, so that's another special all about Super Jack Lester. So do your homework on Jack Lester. In the meantime, we're looking ahead to tonight's quiz. 62634 is the pin code shown on the screen there. And then tap your virtual keypad screen to make sure that you're registered for tonight's quiz. We'll get underway in just over 10 minutes time, so plenty of time for people to join us. I know the football on TV is a distraction, as well as the hot weather. I'm sure plenty of people enjoying a barbecue, or just generally outside in this glorious weather. But the ones who are with us tonight, I'm sure will enjoy the quiz as usual. A lot of regulars playing. So can it be another win for, I'm going to say, Franchise Pilsley? Two-time winner now. Under different geysers. But we have had a number of uh, winners over the course of the 12 quizzes, the Sparrows quizzes that we've run during lockdown. Are we going to get a different name winning tonight? So 62634 and then tap the screen and that will see you registered for tonight's quiz. So I'll be back shortly. I'll take a quick look on YouTube to uh, take a look at the comments on there in the meantime. At 62634 and then tap the screen.
Okay, if you've just joined us, the pin code is uh, there on the screen, 62634. And then importantly, tap the screen to make sure that you are registered. Also, make sure that your live stream is right to the end. So I'm looking at my YouTube stream at the moment. And because I'd paused it for a short while, when I restart, it's uh, showing me significantly lower numbers for the people who signed in than uh, is actually the reality. So what I'm saying there is if you have paused it at all, even if it's just for a few seconds, just make sure that you drag the bar to the right so that you have... Uh, as up-to-date a stream as possible. So I'm just looking on the YouTube comments. Got Marie Mitchell saying her seven-year-old is joining us tonight on his, on his dad's phone. So uh, good luck to him. Hope he enjoys it. And Angela saying, any chance of a sound check, Nick? I don't know if you just mean a, a mention, or do you mean I should be going uh, one two one two one two? That's sound check, or yeah, is it is it just a mention, Angela? In fact, I think it's somebody else who signs in under Angela's name. So perhaps if you want to uh, let me know who you are, can't remember. I know you're a regular, but I think you're under somebody else's account. So. Uh, Yep, if you just want to uh, let me know, certainly give you a mention. Gary Steele, another regular, joining us as well and uh, commenting on YouTube. Well, that's good to know. Tobster182 saying, we can hear you. So the sound check did work. We're fortunately coming through to you. And we're now up to 74 people who've signed in. With around, well, just over five minutes to go. 62634. And then tap the screen so that you're registered to play in tonight's quiz. We are, of course, playing once again for a £10 voucher for the Club Superstore. That's up for grabs for the winner tonight. And a reminder that... It's your first answer only that counts. You can't change your answer. You can press the virtual keypad screen. As uh, many times as you want, but you can't actually change your answer. So your first answer is final. So, yep, I think it's Alex playing under Angela Green's name. Saying trying to beam it to TV from the laptop. So 62634 and then tap the screen to register for tonight's quiz. If you've only just joined us, it is quiz number 13. So Phil, who sets the questions, has chosen to go with the number 13. Various questions to do with disappointment for the club. Disappointing results and seasons. There are multiple choice. And as always, it's against the clock. So the quicker you answer, the more points you stand to gain. So 20 questions coming up. In under five minutes time now. And we've got 84 people. Be good if we could get to the 100 mark. With the distractions of live football on TV and the glorious sunshine we've enjoyed today, I think we'll be doing well if we get to the three-figure mark. So around three minutes to go until kickoff. 62634 is the pin code. And then don't forget to tap the screen to ensure that you are registered correctly. I'm 
I've got a, a tweet there. It's going to pick that up. It's just flashed up on my screen and then gone off. So I'm going to go and have a look. Yeah, and that's from Marcia, who of course is a regular player as well. She's saying having Sky does help sometimes, as it has YouTube on, and she sent a photo of her screen there. Thanks for that, Marcia. And I'm sure plenty of people looking at YouTube on their TV screen now. And I know that we have uh, Duncan, who has his big screen. Has he got that in his garden today? We've seen him before with a that outside with a pint. Also playing on his uh, looks to be. I think it was on his iPad. So, Duncan, hope you're um, with us tonight and enjoying a pint while playing. So, 87 we have so far. Just a couple of minutes to go until kick-off. 62634, and then remember to tap the screen. That's the uh, keypad screen. Make sure that you are registered. If you've been watching the football, you'll have seen the result at Old Trafford. The Blades going down to a 3-0 defeat at the hands of Manchester United. And another game tonight. Liverpool against Crystal Palace. That kicks off in around about five minutes time. So we're just about a minute away from kickoff. In the Spyrites quiz number 13. 62634. And then tap the screen. Remember, the winner tonight will claim a £10 voucher for the Club Superstore. There's a click and collect service at the moment operating. Well, it has been for the last couple of weeks on Tuesday and Thursday from 11am to 1pm. That's for orders placed online. You can go and collect your order from a point in the car park near the W5 entrance. That's just for online orders only. You can't actually purchase on the day from the point there or do any exchanges or things like that but that's just for online purchases and collection so I'll make it 10 past now one final call 62634 is the pin code and remember to tap the screen on your virtual keypad to make sure that you're registered okay so let's take a look now first look at who is playing tonight. Okay, so we have EJT first to sign in, J Stevo. And then the third one <laughs> I should have asked what that actually meant. I think that's Welsh. I think we had that discussion. I'm gonna say A N to abbreviate it. And we have uh, Connie in uh, fourth to uh, sign in. West Bar Sparrite, two-time former winner. The Wag Rileys, who made a debut in the fun family quiz on Sunday. Rabbit Dave, Glee Team, Blue Boys. It's way too hot. And then Dunk Fletcher, 89. I mentioned him earlier. Duncan may well be sat outside enjoying a pint. Ooh, Walla Walla. That's a Dave Walla tribute act. Can't read everyone out, but... Uh, you get the gist. I'll quickly take a look. And somebody's put the result there. 35th to sign in. Manchester United 3. 3-0 three v Sheffield United. That was the result from tonight. Kevin Wagg, a regular player. Edges. And then still we go. And then we're going to get into the 90s. And there we have, we have up to 97 playing tonight. So uh, just a reminder as well, before we start, don't jump the gun. If you press too early, it won't register. So do make sure that you see that message coming up to say that your answer has registered. So let's get underway with tonight's quiz number 13, the Spyrites quiz. Okay, in the 99-2000 relegation season, Chesterfield won 2-0 at Preston. 4th September did, didn't win again until 8th of January 
run of, run of 18 winless games. Which team did Re- David Reeves' last-minute penalty, uh, sorry, last-minute only goal of the game, end the run against? So it's Millwall, Brentford, Reading, or Notts County. So in summary, David Reeves scored a last-minute only goal of the game to end that winless run. And it's either Millwall, Brentford, Reading, or Notts County. Answer as quickly as possible. So half the time gone. 15 seconds remain. Quickly get your answer in. Time running out. Just got two people to answer. So Brentford is the answer. So uh, cooling off a Linde if the only ones not to answer. So just make sure that you are registered properly or maybe that you're having connection issues. So how many people put B Brentford? Most popular answer with 48. So who's the leader after the first question? It's way too hot at the top. Then Whiffen 14. West Bar Spyrite's bird in third place, and West Bar Spyrite himself in fourth. And then Big Fact Hunt. Then Kevin Wag, Pink Pumpkin Donuts, KT, Adam, and EJT. That's the top 10 after the first question. Okay, question two. In the 2014 JPT final, 3 1 defeat against Peterborough, Posh's Joe Newell was sent off. What was the score at the time? Was it Peterborough 1, Chesterfield 1, Peterborough 2, Chesterfield 1, Peterborough 3, Chesterfield 1, or Peterborough 1, Chesterfield 0? So, at the time of the sending off of Peterborough's Josh Neal, was it 1 all? Was it 2 1 to Peterborough, 3 1 to Peterborough, or 1 0 to Posh? Quickly get your answer in. Half the time has gone now. Ten seconds remain. Yeah, again, we've got cooling off and Lynn Dave. Let's make sure you are registered. Clearly an issue there. Peterborough two, Chesterfield one. So B, the right answer. And the most popular one, thirty-five, going for that. So how does that change things at the top? Kevin Wag. Jumps up to the top of the leaderboard. West Bar Spyrite, two-time former winner in second. Punkin Donuts in third. EJT in fourth. Beachy in fifth. Trying Hard, Daspire, Christchurch Spyrite. Cooperman and Bucko44. That's the top ten. On we go. So Mark Hughes pictures celebrating scoring on his Spyrite debut in November 2006 at Gillingham. Which of these statements is true about the game played during a relegation season? Kevin Hurst added a second goal to give a rare away win. Caleb Furlan also scored but was later sent off. Uh, Gillingham scored two last-minute goals to win 2-1. Or Alan O'Hare scored an own goal to deny Chesterfield a win. So... We're looking for which of those statements is true. Was it Kevin Hurst adding a second goal for a rare away win? Caleb Folan also scoring a bit later sent off. Gillingham scored two last-minute goals to win 2-1. Or Alan O'Hare scored an own goal to deny Chesterfield a win. So more than half the time gone. Get your answer in quickly. Make sure you didn't jump the gun. Make sure your, your answer was registered. Press it again if you need to. So, again, we have Cooling Off and Linde. I'm not sure if you've re-registered, but C was the answer. And most popular one, 35, going for that. So, Kevin Wagg was the leader. Is he still there? Now, West Bar Spyrite takes over. Five points ahead of Kevin Wagg. Then Punkin Donuts, Christchurch Spyrite, EJT, Daz Spire, Beachy, Bucko44... West Bar Sparrow Bird, and then No Clue. Another former winner there, Bellatrix Le Sparrow, just outside the top 10. Lee, who's done well in the past in 12th. And then we have Mr. Franchise, Pilsley Saint Germain tonight. Twice the winner under different guises. So let's take a look 
further down early on see where we are the Wagrilis 24th also we got it's way too hot was the well got off to a very good start and then has dropped further down Moondog who won recently in 39th can you see yourself there And then we'll go to the very bottom. And we see some yet to get off the mark. So let's move on. So Chesterfield knocked out of the 0607 Carling Cup on penalties against Premier League side Charlton. But which team beat them at Saltgate in the FA Cup just four days later? Enfield Town, Tramia Rovers, Macclesfield Town or Basingstoke Town? So who beat the Spyrites in the FA Cup at Saltergate in 2006-7? Enfield Town, Tramia Rovers, Macclesfield Town or Basingstoke Town? Half the time gone. Ten seconds left. Quickly get your answer in. And the answer is Basingstoke Town with a 1-0 victory at Saltergate. So how many people put D? Basingstoke Town, most popular answer, 49 getting that right. So leaderboard, West Bar Spar right still there. Four-point lead over Kevin Wagg, then Beachy in third. Daspire and Bucko 44, that's the... Top five, just getting into the top ten. Ben Smith, also Lee there as well. And Bellatrix Lesparite, former winner in seventh, just outside is Sammy. Level on points with Ben Smith, but slightly slower. And PSG coming up on the rails in 13th. Two-time former winner. Okay, question five. In the 82-83 relegation season, managed to win 5-1 at home in the first match of uh, 83. But who did they beat? Was it Newport, Bradford, Hartlepool or Wrexham? So that was a relegation season, 82-83. And Sparites won 5-1 at home in the first match of 1983. But who did they beat? Newport, Bradford, Hartlepool or Wrexham? Half the time has gone. Ten seconds left. Quickly get your answer in. Yeah, a few people failing to get their answer in in time. Wrexham was the answer. D. Let's take a look. Well, most people going for, well, more people going for Newport. 35 there. 23 getting it right. So let's take a look. Leaderboard. Kevin Wagg returns to the top. 14 point lead over Beachy. And West Spa's Spyrite surrenders a leadership now in third place. And now we see again. Franchise Pilsley Saint-Germain tonight in seventh place. Okay, which of these goalkeepers appeared in the most league games for Chesterfield in the 88-89 relegation season? So look at those. Look at the photo and say A, B, C or D. Goalkeeper amongst those who appeared in the most league games for the Sparites in the 88-89 relegation season. Is it A, B, C or D? Can you name them all? I'll tell you who they are at the end. Half the time gone. Quickly get your answer in. And 10 seconds remain. And the answer is C. So Mick Leonard, 16 appearances, then Mike Astbury with 8, Jim Brown with 12, and Steve Cherry with 10. So how many people put C? Yeah, most popular answer, 39, getting that right. And Kevin Wagg is there at the top. West Bar Spyrite 
back up to second place and Beachy in third. Sammy going well in fourth. Then it's PK, who's just pipped to the post. Last time out, Lee in six, Punkin Donut, Samba Skills, Daz Spire, and Ben Smith. Pilsley San Germain drops out of the top ten. I think Bucko 44 was there as well. Drops out of the top ten. Take a look further down. Have we still got plenty yet to get off the mark? Well, we have a clutch of them at the bottom. Zoe's uncle yet to score. Captain America, Sester Feldian, cooling off. Lynn Dave, Tony Stark and Ginty. K7 okay, in the 1990 player final defeat against Cambridge at Wembley. Which spar out was making on his fifth appearance for the club? Was it Lee Francis, John Chiodosi, Steve Williams or A.D. Shaw? That's the 1990 playoff final defeat against Cambridge at Wembley. There was a spar out making on his fifth appearance for the club. Either Lee Francis, John Chiodosi, Steve Williams or A.D. Shaw. Half the time has gone. Ten seconds left. And the answer is Lee Francis. Chidozi made his eighth appearance that day. Williams and Shaw were both non-playing subs. So how many people put A? 27, 41 going for John Chidozi, 16 for Steve Williams, 11 for A.D. Shaw, so a fair spread of answers there. Does that do anything at the top of the leaderboard? Kevin Wagg is still there, West Bar Spara remains in second, then Beachy in third, Sammy fourth, PK, then Lee, West Bar Spara, Bird, Punkin Donuts, Katie, and Bellatrix Laspirite. That's the top 10. Okay, question eight. How many different players appeared in league games in Chesterfield last season in the EFL? That's 2017-18. Is it 39, 40, 41 or 42? So how many different players appeared in the league for Chesterfield during their last season in the EFL? Either 39, 40, 41 or 42. Answer as quickly as possible. If you've got no idea, just guess as quickly as you can to stand the chance of getting as many points as possible. 15 seconds left. And over 90 have answered. Or 90, to be precise, now just over 90. The answer is 41. How many people put C, 41? 38, getting that right most popular answer. So is Kevin Wagg still our leader? Now West Bar Spyrite returns to the top. Seven point lead over Kevin Wagg and then Beachy. West Bar's Spyrite's Bird. Bellatrix La Spyrite. PK Sammy. Thomas Quizzlesperger goes into the top 10. Samba Skills and Bucko 44 just outside. Top 10 is uh, our old friend from Pilsley. Two time winner. Currently playing as Pilsley Saint Germain. Okay, on to question nine. Chesterfield's first win in the 11 12 relegation season came in the seventh league game of the season, 3 0 at Bournemouth. Which of these players did not score? Look at the photo and tell us which of those A, B, C, or D did not score in that game. 3 0 at Bournemouth in 2011 12. And half the time has gone. Ten seconds left. Quickly get your answer in. And the answer is D. Danny Whitaker, Alex Mendy, Craig Westcar, and Leon Clark all scored in that game. So. How many people put D? 
Well, the most popular answer is 28, but fair spread of answers there, so that could be interesting. Let's take a look. That's boss bar right. Leading 35 points, the lead over uh, Kevin Wagg and then West Bar Sparrow's Bird. Third place, PK, Sammy, Beachy, Lee, Bellatrix, La Sparrow, PSG, and Thomas Quizzle Spurger. That makes up the top 10. So, which match is this? Look at the clues coming up on the video. Played on Good Friday 2017. So, it's looking for Chesterfield Nil, South End 4. Chesterfield 1, Charlton 2, Chesterfield 1, Rochdale 3, Chesterfield 3, Peterborough 3. So Mark Antoine Fortuné scored. Uh, which match was it? Who? Well, it says who am I? What? <laughs> what score? Chesterfield 0, South End 4. Chesterfield 1, Charlton 2, Chesterfield 1, Rochdale 3, or Charlton, Chesterfield 3, Peterborough 3. And the answer is Chesterfield 0, South End 4. So how many people put that? Second most popular answer after 3-1 to Rochdale. So, leaderboard, West Bar Sparite. 12 points ahead of Kevin Wagg, then PK in third. Sammy just outside the top three, then it's Beachy, West Bar, Sparrow, Bird, Thomas, Quizzlesburger, Lee, Veiled Madness into the top ten, and Bellatrix, Le Spyrite. Take a look further down, now we're at the halfway stage. Edges moving up to 23rd, so just off that first page. Can you see yourself there? Sixty first place. Happy birthday, David Big Fifty. Not sure who that is, but happy birthday from me. Moon Dog, former winner in fifth fiftieth uh, place. So just handful at the bottom, perhaps having connection issues. It can't. Uh, Score. Okay, moving on to question 11. Who was the last Spyrite to be sent off in a football league game? Was it Brad Barry, Ian Everett, Scott Wiseman or Robbie Weir? So the last Spyrite to be sent off in a football league game. Brad Barry, Ian Everett, Scott Wiseman or Robbie Weir? Half the time has gone. Quickly get your answer in. The answer is Scott Wiseman. Three red cards that season. Last on New Year's Day, a 1 0 defeat at Coventry. So. Scott Wiseman C, narrowly the most popular answer. 28 going for Brad Barry, 18 for Weir, and 16 for Everett. So the leaderboard, West Bar Spyrite with a 14 point lead over Kevin Wagg, so very tight at the top. And we have Sammy in third place, Veiled Madness in fourth. Then it's Lee, PK, Beachy, West Bar Spyrite's Bird, Samba Skills, and Thomas Quizzlesperger. Question 12. When Chesterfield uh, lost 5-3 on penalties after a 0-0 draw in an FA Cup replay at the Bescott Stadium in 2015, which of these players failed to score from the spot? So look at the photo and tell us A, B, C or D. The player who failed to score from the penalty spot in the shootout at the Bescott. That was in 2015. Half the time has gone. Ten seconds remain. Uh, 
And the answer is A, Sam Morsi. So the other players, Lee Novak, J. O'Shea, and Liam O'Neill all scored. So how many people put A, Sam Morsi? Well, the second most popular answer, 35, going for Liam O'Neill. So let's take a look. Does that change things at the top? West Bar Spyrite was the leader. And still there, ahead of Kevin Wagg. Who's keeping up the competition at the top? Sammy in third, then Beachy and PK. That's the top five. Going into the top ten, I think Ben Smith and Moss CFC just sneaking in there. Question 13 in the 97 FA Cup semi replay at Hillsborough. Which Middlesbrough player opened the scoring in their 3 0 win? Was it Emerson, Mikel Beck, Fabrizio Ravinelli, or Craig Hignett? And if you've jumped the gun, make sure that your vote is registered. Make sure you see that message come up on your virtual keypad to say that your choice has been registered. So Emerson, Mikel Beck, Fabrizio Ravinelli or Craig Hignett was the scorer of the opening, of the opening goal in that uh, semi-final replay. Which one was it? Ten seconds left. And the answer, Mikel Beck. So how many people put Mikel Beck? Yep, narrowly the most popular answer. 35 getting that right, but 32 going for Emerson. 17 for Ravenelli and 10 for Hignett. Four no-shows. So is West Bar Spyrite still the leader? No, Kevin Wagg comes back to take an 11-point lead at the top. West Bar Spyrite, of course, going for a hat-trick of victories. One back to back early on and going for a third victory. Sammy in third place, and it's Beachy, PK, Lee, Moss CFC, Thomas Quizzlesperger, PSG, and Vale Madness. They make up the top 10. Let's take a look further down. Just out, well, just on the second page, uh, Steve, then J. Steve O, Whiffen 14, Bucko 44. Rockwell, Spyrite, Moondog, The Scots, Punkin' Donuts, Christchurch, Spyrite, EJT, and Big Trev. And further down we go. So just three having issues clearly on the bottom there. So, okay, let's move on. And question 14, Gary Caldwell managed... Chesterfield in 29 games in League and Cup. What was his record? Was it 1-2, drawn 10, lost 17? 1-3, drawn 8, lost 18? 1-4, drew 5, lost 20? Or 1-5, drew 3, lost 21? Whew. So if you want to look at those sequences of uh, wins, draws and losses for Gary Caldwell in his 29 games in League and Cup, did he win two, win three, win four, or win five? That's the abbreviated version. And more than half the time has gone now. Ten seconds remain. And the answer is B, one... Three drew eight, lost eighteen. So how many people put B? Yeah, most popular answer thirty-six. I think perhaps remembering that that he won only three games. That probably was the clincher. So let's take a look and see the leaderboard. Kevin Wagg was our leader. West Bar Sparrow goes back to the top. Kevin Wagg in second, then Sammy in third. Beachy. Fourth, Lee going up to fifth. Moss CFC, PK. Veiled Madness, Ben Smith, West Bar Spyrites Bird in tenth. On to this one, another picture. Which of these high-profile signings scored the most league goals for Chesterfield? Look at them and tell us whether it's A, B, C or D. We're looking for the player amongst those high-profile signings who scored the most league goals for the Spyrites.
after time has gone. And the answer is B, Sylvan Ebanks Blake with 12. Chris O'Grady scored two. Chris uh, Chet Evans scored five. And Jason Lee, two. So how many people put B? Yep, most popular answer with 45. Approximately half the amount of people getting that right. So the leaderboard, West Bar Spyrite still there. Kevin Wang in second. Sammy in third. Question 16, which of these Gillingham players scored a brace in Chessfield's 10-0 defeat at Priestfield in 87? Was it Shearer, Hurst, Greaves or Owen? So, all names of very well-known strikers, but which uh, surname was it? The Gillingham player who scored in that 10-0 defeat for the Spyrites in 87. Shearer, Hurst, Greaves or Owen? Half the time has now gone. And 10 seconds remain. Quickly get your answer in. And the answer is Shearer. Dave Shearer, the brother of Duncan Shearer, who played for Aberdeen. And Scotland, how many people put A? Oh, just narrowly the most popular choice ahead of Greaves. 27 getting that right. 21 going for Owen, 14 for Hurst. So what's that do to the leaderboard? West Bar Sparite still there. Kevin Wag remains close on. And then Sammy. Beachy, Moss CFC, Lee, Westbound, Sparrow, Bird, Bellatrix, La Sparrow, Thomas, Quizzlesburger, and PK. They make up the top 10. A few questions remain. So who scored Preston's goal in the first leg of the playoff semi-final of the Pro Act in 2015? Was it Joe Garner, Jordan Hugill, John Welsh, or Jermaine Beckford? So the scorer... For Preston in the first leg of the playoff semi at the Pro Act in 2015, Joe Garner, Jordan Hugill, John Welsh, or Jermaine Beckford. And half the time has now gone. Quickly get your answer in. Ten seconds left. And the answer is Jermaine Beckford. How many people put Beckford? Yeah, most popular answer, 51 if you're getting that right. 28 going for Garner, 6 for Welsh and 5 for Hugill. 8 no-shows. Leaderboard, West Bar Spyrite still has a lead over Kevin Wagg and then Sammy in third. Could be a tight finish, let's see. The... Penultimate, oh no, 18 is now. Apart from Jack Lester's shirt getting ripped, what other disappointing result was encountered on this day? Was it Oldham 5, Chessfield 2, MK Don 6, Chessfield 2, Chessfield 0, Charlton 4, or Sheffield United 4, Chessfield 1? So what was the result from that game where Jack Lester got his shirt ripped? Was it a 5-2 defeat at Oldham? 6-2 defeat at MK Don's. 4-0 reverse at home to Charlton. Or a 4-1 defeat at Sheffield United. Half the time has now gone. Ten seconds remain. Quickly get your answer in. Answer MK Don's 6, Chessfield 2. So B is what we're looking for. And the most popular answer by some way, 43, getting that right. Does that affect things at the top of the leaderboard? West Bar Spyrite, still the leader, going for a hat trick. 
Kevin Wag in second place and Sammy in third. Okay, the penultimate question now. Uh, so Chesterfield's 1-0 loss at Blythe in the FA Cup in 77 was in the second round. But who did the Sparrights beat in the first round that season? Was it Scunthorpe, Doncaster, Halifax or Wigan? So that was the year when Sparrights lost at Blythe Spartans in the FA Cup. 77 it was in the second round. But who did they beat in the first round that season? Scunthorpe, Doncaster, Halifax or Wigan? After time has now gone. Ten seconds left. And the answer is Halifax Town. So how many people put C? Yep, 37 getting that right. 26, though, going for Scunthorpe. 16 for Wigan and 12 for Doncaster. So, is that done at the top? Well, West Bar Spyrite is going to win tonight. Kevin Wagg in second place. Sammy in third. Beachy fourth. And then Bellatrix Le Spyrite. So, uh... Interesting for the battle between second and third. On to the final question. I'll warn you in advance, this is going to be another video question. So you need to be reading the clues. And I'll give you the possible answers. So this is going to be a who am I question. So who am I? Zavon Hines, Michael Nelson, Kyle Reed or Curtis Weston. So first clue there was signed by Martin Allen. Second one. My first 17 National League appearances for CFC. No games were won. And I played at Saltergate for West Ham. So you've got all the clues there. Who am I? Zavon Hines, Michael Nelson, Kyle Reed, or Curtis Weston. Last clue there was played at Saltergate for West Ham. That applies to a couple of those. Signed by Martin Allen. And went for a long run of games without winning. At the start of his Sparrow's career, so time running out. Quickly get your answer in. And the answer is Kyle Reed. How many people put Kyle Reed C? Well, that was the trap that Phil set. Zavon Hines getting 47, because he also played for West Ham. 19 getting that right. So how has that changed things at the top? The West Bar's Sparite has won. Kevin Wagg in second place. Sammy in third. So congratulations to West Bar's Sparite, the winner of tonight's quiz. A hat-trick of victories now for West Bar's Sparite. So please send us an email to claim your £10 voucher. Just outside the top three. Beachy is there. Bellatrix La Spyrite. Moss CFC. West Ball Sparrow's Bird in 7th. Give it to Randall, Daisy, and then Cooperman. That's the top 10. Just outside there, Ben Smith, then PK, Lee, No Clue, the Backheaders. And we go on and on. Dunk Fletcher on the first page. 18th, Veiled Madness, who was in the top 10 at one point. And we see there PSG playing... And the usual different name. Two-time winner previously. At 24th tonight. Let's take a look further down. Can you see yourself there? You will, of course, be able to look. On YouTube, if you've not managed to see. So, congratulations once again to our winner tonight. West Bar Sparite, a comfortable victory in the end. Kevin Wagg doing well for some time and was the leader at one point. Sammy also doing well in the top 10.
for quite some time, but West Bar Spa right takes the honours. Remember, next week we have because it's quiz number 14, it's all about Jack Lester. So uh, do join us for that. Also on Sunday, we have our fun family quiz. That's from around 5 p.m. So many thanks for joining us. I hope you've enjoyed the quiz tonight. Great to see so many people playing just short of a hundred. The distractions of live football on TV, the weather as well. So uh, great to see the amount of people playing. Thanks as always to Phil Tooley for providing the questions. Also to uh, Tina Jenner for the photographs that we've used in the quiz. So uh, thanks very much for joining us. And please do join us either on Sunday for our fun family quiz or next week as well, same time, 8 o'clock on Wednesday. In the meantime, take care and thanks for joining us.